so um, we've completed our form validation essentially um, and if our form isn't filled we keep in the values anyway in case uh, well so users don't have to re-enter every bit of data now what we want to do is we want to compare the two passwords so down here after we validated the form we need to say or partly validated we need to say if password doesn't equal password again do something otherwise complete the rest of the registration so in here if it doesn't equal we need to say um, passwords do not match okay otherwise now we say okay so let's um, click register.php right so I can type my username in there um, let's go down and do our first name and surname first so I'm gonna type pass one two three and in this one I'm gonna type pass one two so this is one less character than this therefore they don't match so let's click register and we get the uh, error message passwords do not match so let's try again password oh, no. pass one two three pass one two three click register it's okay they match so now that we're okay here we need to start the registration process but what we need to do is we need to check if the username already exists in the database so how do we do this now we need to create a query let's just pull this down so we can uh, have a bit of space the query is going to be select um, and we're going to select username from so let's just pop this in apostrophes select username from users so remember we're selecting Let's just go back to here we select username from users where oh remember the uh, I'll show you there so where username equals and now what we can do is substitute in the username that the user has supplied here so we can say username now if this returns um, a, a row what's going to happen is it means that the username already exists because we're returning um, a row which means we've successfully selected something where the username exists already so now let's run the query let's quick put that into a new variable so query run equals mysql query query and what we need to do now is we need to count the amount of rows so we say if mysql num rows for query run so remember the query running is equal to one or is greater than or equal to one in 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 the in the sense of this login and registration system it will never be two or three or any any higher so we can leave this equal to one because uh, remember this process the whole point of it is to not duplicate the, the username so if the username equals one do something otherwise do something else in the case that it does equal one we need to say um, the username concatenate on username that the username supplied already exists okay so otherwise we're saying okay so at the last part of our validation where we're validating where now not the form but whether the username exists so let's go back to our um, register page blank that let's type in a username Alex password pass one two three pass one two three first name Alex surname Garrett now when I click the register button we're going to do all the checks that we've already spoken about but now we're going to check if the username exists so let's check if that works we'll click register oh it says okay mm, okay so let's double check everything select uh, running that query if mysql query num rows equals one else okay um, okay so let's test our query because it doesn't seem to be working as of yet let's pop that into um, our SQL tab up here to see what happens okay so let's paste that in and click go um, returned an empty result set so oh no sorry that's gonna be equal to Alex click go okay so we are returning that value and let's think why we're not um, getting any results 
Okay, so let's echo out the username here just to uh, go along with the uh, process as we do it. So let's go back to our page here and type in our password again. Alex, okay, so obviously there's a problem with our query somewhere because that username should be fed in properly. Now let's try to, I mean it might be something simple that I'm completely missing. Um, let's try and echo out mysql num rows of our query that we've run. See what that produces. Okay, we're not getting anything from that. So, that means that no rows are being returned. Ah, okay, um, yeah. Right, okay, okay. So, um, what I've stupidly done is, um, perhaps you should learn from my mistake is, we have this lovely file up here called connect.ink.php which I haven't actually included. So all of this is absolutely, um, well, just the query is useless. So let's go up and I'm going to require connect.ink.php so I can connect to the database and therefore perform these uh, operations correctly. So let's go back here and we'll retype in uh, pass123, pass123, click register. The username Alex already exists.